As the class of 2024 puts on their cap and gown and hear their name for the last time as a high schooler in just a couple of weeks, the seniors cap off their high school career with their powder puff flag football win. Uh, it feels really good because it was just kind of like our last opportunity for all the seniors to kind of like come together and do our thing. So, yeah, it was fun. It's like everything to me. It's a good note to win on. Good way to finish. <laughs> finish with a dub. It's powder puff and it's fun and we want to win. Probably just being around everybody and just enjoying the last moments of high school. The best part was um, when I caught the ball and I didn't drop it. It feels amazing because it's like our last like senior year event. So it feels really nice to just... Ended on a win. After losing last year's powder puff game to the seniors, and with their last opportunity to get in on the high school fun, this year's group of seniors were ever motivated. Awesome, because we lost last year, and that was really sad. So I'm really glad that we won and went out in high school with a bang. It feels real good considering we lost last year. This year we were really like, we just went after it. For the juniors, losing this year's powder puff game doesn't sting too much. I just said that we fought hard and that, um, you know, seniors are meant to win. They're meant to win and uh, we're going to come out swinging next year. And uh, with the same intensity we did in the first half, I absolutely love the effort and I absolutely love the schemes. All the coaches did great. This year's coaches were Brandon Carr for the juniors and Nate Denton for the seniors, both playing varsity football for Grandy. Both of them used their coaching experience to lead their teams on the field. My football experience really helped. Definitely, um, it was definitely challenging because going from being around people that know exactly what they're doing all the time to people who literally don't know what a flag is or anything in the sport, it's just, it's just really fun. I had a great time coaching and I think it transferred pretty well. The fun doesn't just stop there though. Fans paid an entrance fee of $1 to watch. All proceeds going to the Denver Boys and Girls Club. We were in charge of the desk at the front to make sure everyone would donate a dollar donation and that would go to the Denver Boys and Girls Club. We chose that because we've used it in all the years past. Um, so it's from the Broncos um, football team and that's where it's kind of going towards. So they're kind of um, helping younger kids who want to be, want to be passionate about sports. I loved how there was a lot of fans here. Like, it turned out really well, which is good, because we thought it wasn't because the weather was kind of cold and windy, but there was a lot of people that ended up showing. Now with a powder puff win and graduation on the horizon, the twilight hours of the class of 2024 is upon us. Seniors honor their years passing through the halls of Grandview by watching the sunset on a chilly Thursday evening, their last day of high school. Um, I just think it's a really good way to have the seniors close out on their final year of high school because I feel like we don't often do a lot of things to recognize the seniors so this is kind of like a good closing off and I really like that we were able to have it on their last day of school so that it really just wraps up the year for them. I like the senior sunset because like I had a lot of friends that were here and it's a good like it, it's kind of good to kind of like do this with like closing a chapter and just like starting a new one so I'm excited. I came because it's my senior year and there's like you got to be more involved because your last year of high school so I I've been wearing, you know, participating in Spirit Week. And I was like, Senior Sunset, you know, it's the last, very last day of school. And it's something where everyone just comes together as like one big wolf pack, I guess. <laughs> as their new reality sets in, seniors reflect on what high school has brought them. The best part of high school was definitely the friends I made on the football team. Those are some brothers I'll, I'll know for the rest of my life and those guys will definitely be guys at my wedding. The best part of high school was all the friends and memories I made along the year. It's so weird, like like today I had AP Psych and like and like other finals, but like it doesn't feel weird that like, I'm actually done with high school. Like, it's like, it's weird, but like it's great. No. <laughs> I honestly feel like on graduation I'm gonna cry. I'm probably gonna cry. But yeah, I took my final test and I was like, oh my god, I'm really done. <laughs> but no, it has not sunk in yet. Congratulations to the class of 2024 and seniors for winning the Powder Puff Flag football game. This is Jake Zhao reporting for GBTV.